Welcome back, my beauties. <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this beautiful red, white marble set with the denude color ombre. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, as you see right here, I got my little paint palette that my friend made for me, by the way. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Um, so right here, you see me, um, with the bloom and gel, the bloom and gel helps it like, you know, create different type of designs. You can create roses, you can create all type of crocodile skin designs and all kind of stuff. But with this gel polish, you is, I mean, with this particular gel blooming gel polish is real good because you can create all types of ombre colors and um, all kind of marbling colors. And it's just like so freaking wonderful. It's so bomb. So as you see, um, I'm putting the gel polish, which I was like running out a little bit. But uh, I'm putting like the gel polish on the palette. And then the first thing I did was I put some of the blooming gel on the bottom. And then I put the like colored gel, like the white red gel polish and white gel polish on there and then I put the blooming gel on there just to kind of give it a little bit more a uh, marble effect and then like right here as you see I'm putting the polish the blooming gel polish on my pinky but see the thing is you can't cure it quite yet you have to wait before you cure it so you see me applying this on and after I get done applying it on then I take my little dotting tool and I kind of like just marble those colors together like I kind of give it like a marble look when I say it's cute it's, it's really cute y'all um it's a really easy simple design anyone can do this um you see how that marbling is coming along and then I take like a little gel brush that I have and then I put it on there notice how I did not cure the blooming gel on my nails because with the blooming gel, it's supposed to stay wet in order for that polish to stick on just right. And see how easy it goes on, how easy it just marbles. And then I just go back in and just do like some finishing details on like where I feel like it should be a little bit more white or a little bit more red. And I don't apply it all the way to the nail. I only apply it halfway because I'm doing an ombre. And I'm going to put like the nude color on top of the... um the marble color that I did and I'm using gel polish on that part but um like for the nude color I'm using acrylic so this is like my first time ever trying this type of design with acrylic and man it worked out wonderful I could say it's real cute I'm gonna start doing more designs like that <laughs> but y'all the struggle was real you have to forgive me I'll try to stay in the angle of the camera and it just was not working for me <laughs> But I'm going to record another video of me doing my practice hand with some like marble ombre colors because I'm starting to love the colors now of marble ombre and I'm trying to get a little bit more advanced on that. But um, I'm sorry that I'm kind of out of angle, but um, it's just basically what you've been seeing me do. I'm just applying the gel polish on um, and wiping the brush off. And right here, I'm showing you how it turned out. And so now I'm getting ready to cure it. Because you have to cure it in order for you to be able to do that ombre. Because if you did it while it was wet, it would mess up the whole freaking design. So you have to cure it. Make sure you cure it. I usually cure it for like 30 seconds just to make sure that it's on there real good. And so after I get done curing it, you'll get ready to see me move my paint palette out the way. Um... And you'll see me get ready to get the nude color and you'll get ready to see how I do my ombre. When I say I love this design, y'all, I love it. Like a girl was feeling herself, <laughs> really feeling herself. And so throughout the rest of the video, y'all going to see me on how I'm doing this ombre. And then I think I do another nail too. And the other nail is like the whole nail is going to be gel polish. It's not going to be ombre. Um, and I'm showing you my uh, brush that I got 
It's a 12 Kalinsky brush. I got it at my local nail supply store, and they was not cheap. I'm like, I think they was like, two, almost $30 for just one brush. But it's a good brush. I had it for a minute. And as you see right here, I'm ombre in it in. It, it gets kind of tricky for a while. And then, like, after I ombre it, I normally just go ahead and put, like, a clear or pink translucent color on top of it to cap that design because you do not want to mess it up when you go back to foul it. So, um, right here, you just kind of seeing me. I'm telling you, I was struggling, y'all. My hand was, like, uh, throwing up gang signs. Because <laughs> I'm trying to angle it perfect, but it was like at one point my hand got stiff and stuck. But but yeah, throughout the video, you'll just see me doing um the acrylic nails, and um you'll see me uh at one point when I get done with that hand, you'll see me get ready to work on my other hand. Um and that's just pretty much what's going on throughout this whole video is just me showing you detail, detail on how to do marble, marble ombre nail designs using gel polish and acrylic together. And yes, you can use gel polish and acrylic together, but the thing is with the gel polish, you have to make sure you cure it first before you put your acrylic on top of it. And I find this method to be like real convenient, real easy, some simple you can do at home, you know. Even if you don't use the uh the acrylic, you can like just even if you're doing a manicure on yourself or you're just doing your regular nails and you feel like you want some polish on there, you can just do like a background color, like a background white on there, and then like mix your color uh a uh, gel polish on there, use a the blooming gel, and you'll still come out with the same results of the marbling. Um, and you can you can ombre it too, but like I said, you have to cure each design. You can't do it all at once. You have to cure it. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all probably hear my kids in the background. They're supposed to be asleep. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's what's going on throughout this whole video. Um, and then you'll see me work on the other hand. I'm going to let y'all sit and enjoy the rest of it. And I will return.
Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow Get out my way, please, I'm tryna get paid Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow Get out my way, please, I'm tryna get paid I've been for 27 years, I ain't going for 28 Been seeing you niggas flexing and finessing this shit You know I ain't never ate Been seeing you shining, all that designer You ain't get your little bro play That's how I know you fake, bitch That's how I know you fake
I, 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 I.